Hello internet people and welcome to Vlogtober day one. Today is October 1st and that marks the beginning of Vlogtober where I am challenging myself to sew for one hour every day and bringing you along for the ride. I'm hoping that we can spend the month sewing together, getting inspired by fall sewing, the cozy autumn vibes, the DIY Halloween spirit and everything that comes along with the month of October. I love the month of October. I feel like my creativity really thrives. It really comes alive in this month. So we'll see where the month takes us. I'm hoping to do six videos a week, but I'm not gonna hold myself to that too strictly because uh, I gotta watch out for my mental health. So we'll see, we'll start out one day at a time. So what's on the docket today? Today I want to film, edit, and upload a Friday Sews. I need to cut out a sewing project so that we can actually sew for an hour a day. If you watch today's Friday Sews, you'll know why I am a little bit behind and don't have anything prepared for today. I want to show you my sewing space. So last year on Vlogtober day one, which was actually my second video of all time on this channel, I did a little sewing space tour. And so I want to give you an updated sewing space tour. Uh, let's see, that's three things. Number four, I want to make a pizza crust for dinner tonight, which requires a couple hours of rising time. So I gotta get that going at some point. I also wanna call my aunt because I haven't talked to her in like a month and I really enjoy having conversations with her. So I wanna call her and uh, yeah, I think that's just about it. It's actually um, 1243 and we're off to a great start because I actually haven't even drank any water today. So we're starting off strong, starting off dehydrated. <laughs> Well, we better get on to it if we're gonna actually get everything done today. So let the Vlogtober commence. Hello internet people and welcome back to another edition of Hashtag Friday Sews. Okay, there's my pizza dough ready for rising. I realized I didn't show you what I'm wearing for the first day of Vlogtober. I am wearing my Wilder gown that I made this summer and the weather is still warm enough to wear it. So taking advantage of that while I can. Welcome up to the sewing loft. Last year on the first day of Vlogtober, I filmed a sewing space tour and I had just redone the sewing space and I did show a little bit of before and after in that video, so I'll put a link to it. But I thought it might be fun to show you the space exactly one year later as it is and give you an updated tour of it. Okay, so I am standing on the stairs because it's kind of hard to film and get back far enough to give you a good overview of the space, but let me just give you an overview without making you too dizzy. And from this angle, So let me just go left to right and show you how I organize the space. So when I was deciding what to do with it up here, my two main goals were storage and lighting because there's actually no power plugs up here. We run a couple of cords down to an outlet right by the stairs. And so I needed to get some good lighting up here. So those were the two main goals. This is where I keep all of my scraps. This cart here to the left holds the bulk of all of my sewing supplies. Let me show you inside the drawers. So in this top one is manuals and other educational materials. The drawers actually aren't all that organized, but um, this has some machine stuff, screwdriver, my serger, accessories. This is all pins and needles. In this drawer, I keep all the pieces for whatever project I'm working on. So any pattern pieces or instructions or random things, I just keep in there. This drawer has wonder tape, stay tape, um, some serger thread. I don't know, the box for the loop turner. Do I need to keep that? Uh, bias tape, twill tape, some other random things in that drawer. Uh, all my buttons are in this drawer. My zippers are in this drawer. 
Um, this is all elastic. And this last drawer has some miscellaneous items, an apron. This is for a project, um, other craft things for like other crafts in that drawer. Then I put up this thread stand on the wall, this pegboard to hold all of my most used notions, uh, my ruler, snips, stitch puller, very essential, um, all that kind of stuff. I have some decorations and some, a couple rolls of patterns here. And then usually right here, I'll put the pattern envelope of whatever I'm working on. Okay, machines. We put up this shop light for some overhead lighting. And then I also got this daylight slimline lamp, which clamps onto the side of my table and I love it. So I put this wire rack here and on this first shelf is a bunch of like office supplies and then I have a scale. And then on the third shelf, I have all of my pressing supplies, water, iron, ham, clapper, etc. And then on the bottom shelves, I have the printer. And on the bottom shelf, I used to keep some machines down there, but now it's kind of a wasteland of a bunch of random things like WD-40, who knows when you're ever gonna need that up here. But just kidding, don't put WD-40 on your machines. You're not supposed to do that. In front of it, I have a fan that I've turned into a makeshift laptop stand for when I'm making, um, like doing a PDF pattern, I just keep the instructions up there. And then the fan, because it gets really hot up here, all the heat rises. And look at that mess of cords. Yeah, absolutely insane. The cords are crazy up here. This is my husband's workspace, that's his domain. Turning around here, I normally uh, set up my ironing board right here, um, and then it creates kind of an L with my workstation, and that works out well. So here on the left, we have these brown drawers, and that is all shipping supplies. And then this fabric dresser is one of the best parts. That holds all of my fabric and all of my patterns. But as you can see, I've been accumulating more than I've been sewing because last year, all of my fabric fit into this dresser. And this year, look, I have all this fabric at the top, and I have this Amazon box of fabric down here. So kind of exploding a little bit, but the two drawers here, those are all patterns and then everything else is fabric. And I have my vintage singer who lives right there because I don't really have any other place for it right now. And then finally at the end, uh, we have this hamper here. It's like a half circle hamper and I put it up here because I didn't want the cat to scratch at it. Um, but it actually, fits perfectly in that space and I didn't even plan it and it holds a lot of random things. Don't really need to go into it. It's just like random storage. And then the bin on top of it is also random storage. There's some filming stuff, some random patterns that need to find uh, their way back into the drawers, uh, etc. just random. Fabric, fabric. patterns and yeah there's all this extra space to actually be able to walk around which is really nice and we also share the chair so and this is where the magic happens right over here in this little sewing space and I really like it it's very cozy and it does the job so one year later I'm still really really happy with my setup here I spent so much time last year thinking about how I wanted to set it up and looking for storage solutions and lighting solutions and ways to make this a more functional space. If you saw the video last year, you could see the before is just like an absolute disaster. So I spent so much time. And also when I was um, doing it, it was like at the time of the pandemic when we still weren't going to stores at all. Um, so I ordered everything on Amazon. So I scoured Amazon for all of these things and I drew out plans and <laughs> made sure everything was gonna fit and I like measured everything and I spent a ton of time on Amazon finding things that would work for this small strange space that I have here. So actually if I can still find links to any of these pieces, I'll go ahead and put them um, in the description box below, just in case you have a small sewing space and you're looking for pieces that will work for you as well um, for storage or lighting. I really like my slim light and I really like my honeydew cart. So, and I actually really like the dresser. Actually, you know, I'm just really happy with it still. One year later, I'm really happy with how this space came together. So I hope you enjoyed this updated sewing space tour. So I'm here editing my Friday sews. 
it's 5.44 and I'm so hungry. I think my pizza dough is finally ready. So I'm gonna go out to what's left of my garden and find some toppings. Hi. Looks like we have a few fish peppers. Okay, I can't do this one handed, hold on. I think I'll get some of these green onions too. My basil's not looking so good. It's supposed to be purple basil, but there's really nothing left on here that's purple. And these green leaves are kind of bitter, so I'm not gonna get any of that. And I think I'll pick the rest of these eggplants too. So I harvested the rest of the fish peppers that were ready. I'm gonna put them in the freezer to save. Um, the rest of the eggplants that looked like they were ready, some green onions and some chives. Dough. Okay, so I think that concludes Vlogtober day one for me. I'm gonna go eat this pizza and to celebrate the end of day one, I'm going to have my very favorite pumpkin beer. This is the Elysian Night Owl and watch some TV and relax. I'm sorry there was no actual sewing in this video, but tomorrow I'm hoping to get my next project cut out. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. Happy Friday and I'll see you guys tomorrow.